Uh, so for sure, in the foreseeable, foreseeable future, we say that Chinese exports will not have that trend of upward, will not have that upward trend because um, now China is preparing the New Year holiday already. And at the same time, uh, we see that markets outside of China, they have strong, a stronger ability to achieve their, their uh, to, to meet the needs of their own demand because the production under COVID uh, pressure is less than previous years. So they have more strength to push up their production to meet their own needs. But it's at the same time that um, production and demand in China are expected of course, the government also wants to control it uh, steady at the same time to uh, just to, to promote its inner circle, uh, economic circle, what is uh, regarded as uh, by the central government. We see that uh, the the exports will uh, go directly proportionally to the capacity expansions, uh, because all the major capacity expansion is coming up from the uh, big steel firms in India, and definitely uh, export is supporting the uh, the overall capacity. And we have seen a rise in the uh, export, especially during the COVID time. So going forward, I think the uh, exports will definitely support the uh, capacities which India is planning to expand in the coming years. Uh, talking about the major markets, uh, yes, we have seen a rise in the exports to the Southeast Asian countries. We have seen it in the MENA region. So I think like we have a positive uh, sentiments coming up for the Indian steel industry, both in terms of capacity expansion and in terms of uh, supporting exports with capacity. So it's positive sign for me. Uh, the markets are uh, actually. I think what's been happening is that there's been very, there's been reluctance from the mills to actually pay more for sc scrap. The main reason is because the rebar, uh, rebar sales are very bad, um, and this is also due to the only the reopening of their markets only in the last quarter, in the last quarter of last year because of COVID long of uh, course COVID and because of extended lockdowns. So now we see uh, them, if they want to buy, there's been like, you know, very small orders. I, I hear uh, recently of a major steel mill in Vietnam buying some scrap because the licenses was going to expire, the import licenses. So there's very, they're very, very unwilling to, to, to book scrap. Um, there's some, sales coming in, but, um, and I know the Japanese scrap prices are coming off finally, but it's been very, very slow. Uh, as I think you all know that, you know, the, the, the region here is mostly a price taker. So uh, it's, it's been quite hard for the, uh, for the meals over here, the EAF meals to accept higher scrap prices. <laughs> 